Since you are watching this video, I guess your computer is running with an issue here as you are trying to open a program that recently installed this error array. The program can start because API MS Win CRT STDIOL 110.dll is missing from a computer. It's a very common issue and all you need to do is watch this video till the end without skipping it. Hello everyone, welcome to Tech Evolution. In this very short video, I'll be fixing this error within 3 minutes. So let's begin. The first thing you need to do is open your favorite browser and search for the entire DLL name. You can choose any else you want. In this case, I'll be choosing the first one. This is not sponsored, but I'll put the link in the description. Uh, you can see few download option based on the v10 architecture to know your architecture and version click on start and search for system information Here you can see mine is 64 bit and i'm updated to the recent windows update so i'll be downloading from the top I strongly recommend you to read this page, it has multiple fixing methods also. As the download complete, hit open. The download has GFS two files, one is the DLL, other one is readme. To move the DLL, first open this PC, local DXC, Windows, and find a folder name System32. This is the home of 32 bit DLS. And drag and drop. I've already done this, so they are asking me to replace. And click on continue to give administrator access. Before we proceed, let's check by typing the entire file name. You can see the file is properly placed in the 32 bit folder. So job done for 32 bit users. You can go and restart your computer. Only if you are a 64 bit user like me, open this PC one more time. Local DXC, Windows, and find a folder named syswall 64 This is the home of 64 bit dealers. And similarly, drag and drop. Check this one more time. I can see the file is properly placed in the 64 bit folder too. So, job is done. Finally, restart your computer. In extreme rare cases, if rare or developers you need to download and install Microsoft Visual C++ redistributable and install your program again, and that will surely fix it. And that's all. If you follow me step by steps, you'll no longer have that problems left. Please let me know how you feel about this video, and do not forget to like and subscribe.